This video addressed to the participants of the Forum 2000. I must begin with a thank you word to all those people in the global community of promoters of democracy who kept my case in the focus of public attention for so many years. Many of them, I presume, are in this hall right now. Thank you very much. In 2003, a few months before the further to son succession of power in Azerbaijan, the US Senator John McCain visited our capital city, Baku, and met here with three then leading opposition parties. As a junior politician, I told him that the comprehensive foreign support to the said succession was something that would further disenchant the people. To his credit, upon his return to the United States, Senator McCain made a critical public statement dissonant with George W. Bush's choice to support the dynastic rule, and had been vocal on the downward path of democratic institutions in our country since then. At the time, the great powers believed that an educated English-speaking son of an authoritarian ruler would become a reformer. Today, when President Aliyev II has brought Azerbaijan to the verge of exclusion from the Council of Europe, I see that some external forces are willing to repeat the mistake of the year 2003. This time they seem to feel affection for one part of the ruling family against another. This is driven by the same mistaken vision that someone from within the corrupt dynastic oligarchy inflated on steroids of oil and gas revenue may become a reformer even without a proven ability to compete in a democratic race. That is a direct path to even greater repression. We have seen that in the example of Ilham Aliyev, who has been uh, less skilled than his father, less competitive and therefore more repressive. Even worse repressions is going to happen if the clandestine policy of supporting a convenient dictator continues this time in a different edition. We in the Republican Alternative are working to gain support of the same middle class which some external planners believe should support the second dynastic succession. We are aware of the economic roots of that social group not always being healthy. Currently, those routes are too much dependent on the government's wasteful spending of oil and gas revenue. However, that class is just tired of the system in which their economic rights are not protected, in which they always have to demonstrate political loyalty, and yet that demonstration is not a guarantee of their security. Like communism, the system takes just too many evenings. In a typical Azerbaijani middle-class family, when it comes to assessment of risks uh, of their occupation, plan B usually is not about changing professional priorities or business plan, but about emigration. We are willing to create for them a talent-rewarding system in the economy and in the government so that they stay and move our country forward. Due to our perseverance in this fight for democracy, the Republican alternative has achieved a level of name recognition sufficient to launch a victorious election campaign. Not only we are widely recognized, but the vast majority of people who recognize our platform are inclined to vote for us. Our task of building up on that reputation is undermined by continuous harassment by the authorities, such as travel ban and administrative arrests of activists. The government has been doing a number of silly things in a smart way with reliance on oil revenue-based social contract and some corrupt internationals. However, the revenue is falling and its corrupt international support base is also being exposed and thrown out of politics. The latter is um, to a large extent due to our efforts and international solidarity we are receiving from the Western democratic circles. Taking this opportunity to speak to the true friends of democratic progress in Azerbaijan, I would like to emphasize that uh, Republican Alternative will continue its pursuit of peaceful change. Azerbaijan has always been a very special story of a Muslim nation with strong democratic aspirations and ethnic and religious tolerance. These attributes of our identity have been existing irrespective of the dynastic reign. Return to our republican roots will only make them stronger.